to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my picture. I'm assuming that you wanted to see what I was doing. So what are we doing today? So I went makeup shopping the other day and I got served in the Morphe store um, by this guy called Will. And his, when I tell you, his makeup was on point. And I loved his customer service. I loved how he dealt with me. And I really loved his makeup look. So I thought I would recreate the look. So we're gonna go with a red lip. We're going with blue eyeshadows. So let's get started on this look. As I said, I went sh um, makeup shopping and I went to the Morphe store in um, Westfield and I decided to try their foundation. I actually wasn't looking for a foundation. I actually was just looking for a bronzer, but he recommended me this, their new Morphe Matte. It is the Fluidity Foundation Full Coverage 24 Hour Long Wear Sweat Proof Transfer Resistant Water Resistant. And most importantly, it is matte. And I get a really oily T zone. So I thought I'd give it a go and see how it held, holds up. I don't know about you guys, but when I go makeup shopping and one of the advisors or customer representative or beauty advisors, what, I'm not really sure what they're called. Um, when they come to greet me in the store, I always look at their makeup. And if your makeup isn't great, I'm not really gonna take your recommendations because I'm, I, I need to be able to see kind of like what the finished product is gonna look like. And if you don't execute it that well, I'm not really going to um, purchase any makeup for you. And I had that experience actually in the Kiko store, which is actually what made me go to the Morphe store. Lady was really nice and she served me really nicely and she was really friendly um but when she took me over to the bronzers which is what i was actually looking for the shades were let's just say they were just i'm just gonna say it, they were horrendous they were not for my shade range they weren't for what i was looking for however the experience i had when i went into the morphe store was totally different i was looking around because i've not been in the store before so i was trying to find where the bronzers are and all i hear is hi how can i help you and i turned around and i was taken aback will's makeup was impeccable it was it was flawless his skin was flawless, the eye makeup, everything about it was just right up my street. We're going to go in with the Fenty concealer and he really, he took me aside. He showed, first of all, he showed me um, the bronzers. He asked me what I was looking for and his service was just much better, which is probably why I ended up purchasing um the um the foundation as well as just the bronzer when he did swatch the three shades of the um foundation on my skin i first of all i looked at them and i was like okay i don't know if this is going to work or not but the shade he chose for me what what shade am i F4.80, that's my shade. And I said to him, oh, it looks a little bit neutral for me. But he was like, don't worry, let's just work with it. And when he put it on my skin, he took the patch off of my chin and he put it on. And to be fair, it seamlessly matched with the, actually the foundation that I was wearing that day. So it actually, what you think might not be your shade can actually probably work really, really well with your skin. I did do a wear test of this on Monday and 
when I say I was macked, literally every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, I can't believe it. I'm not oily. What is going on? Like it just didn't penetrate my skin. And it wasn't until about nine o'clock that I noticed that some shine was starting to come in my T-zone, which is where I always get my shine. So I was highly impressed. And I'd had the makeup on from about eight o'clock in the morning. And when I took it off at about nine, I could still say that I my skin just looked beautiful. And I'm all about skin at the moment. I'm having a really bad breakout. I don't know why, but it could be because I got my lip waxed. So this is like remnants from the waxing. But it wasn't by my normal lady, unfortunately. Um, and I'm guessing this is the price I have to pay. But yes, we're having a little bit of a breakout. But my eyebrows are finally snatched and we are looking hella great other than a few spots, which I don't worry too much about because I don't really have acne. So I'm not too worried. We're going to go set this baby with the oh so familiar Laura Mercier in medium D. Tell me guys. What is your preferences when you go makeup shopping? Do you like to be left alone? Do you like to have a conversation with somebody about what you're looking for? I tend to veer on the side of, please leave me alone. I just want to have a little bit of a browse, have a little bit of a swatch. That's all I'm really looking to do. I don't really want to be bothered. But I was actually in the market to look for something new. And I really wanted someone's opinion. So I was quite disappointed in the range at Kiko. I've never shopped in Kiko before, so I didn't know really what to expect. I just thought, oh, let's try a new range. I've not tried them before. It was shocking to say the least, but we move on. Will's customer service was impeccable. So you're, if you're ever in the Westfield store, in the Morphe store in Stratford, go and check him out because his makeup was beautiful. His customer service was fabulous and I couldn't complain. And he upsold me some extra products. So talking about the extra products, I actually went in for this. I went for more of a warmer shade than more of a chiseled contour kind of shade. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to take this shade here. I'm guess is this one is fantastic. I'm just going to dab that on my cheek. This is more of the contour shade. And this is just to give me some definition on my cheekbones. It is very warm. I'm very used to a red undertone from the ebony bronzer that I use from CoverGirl. Um, so this is very much a getting used to kind of shades range, but I really like it and it really does complement my skin very well. And I was happy to see more than just one kind of shade for my skin tone in the mix of it all but it is really 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 nice like look at that so lovely like it's just is really good especially as a beginner um for contour and um, will recommended that i start with powder um so that was also a good duo that these two are all together so i got contour and bronzer together i'm gonna take my big kabuki brush and in fantabulous and I'm just going to warm up the skin. I'm quite liking using my Kabuki brush now because it gives me a little bit more coverage. And this has got slight shimmer tone to it. I, I'm more of a matte person when it comes to my bronzers. But I did really like how it all came out and how it all kind of fits together. And the Kabuki brush just helps to blend both of those shades in together 
and just give it that nice flawless finish that everybody is looking for. That is actually really nice. So the contour shade is really nice and and then you've got that nice warm tone, rosy tone to it. So that both of those products have been a yes from me the last few times I have used it. The eye look was just so great and intense and I wanted to do a blue shadow. So we're gonna use my lovely dirty Jaclyn Hill uh, Morphe palette just because we was in the Morphe store. So why not? Let's also use this palette too. Go in with a neutral shade. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And I'm gonna take that in my crease, warm up the eyelid nicely. I am loving seeing people recreate other people's look. Like I think it is such a like an admiration for that person, for that look, for that time and effort that went into that look as well. And if you and inspiration can literally come from anywhere so just take it go with it and i think if someone was offended by someone recreating a look it's kind of like why why would you be offended i don't get it at all this is going to be a really good test for um this morphe foundation under these lights because it is very very warm warm it is hot under these lights and i can already feel myself feeling very warm so it'll be interesting to see how this all comes together right so we've got our base color on i'm gonna go in with this type this kind of brick orange shade and I'm just gonna dab that on my outer V and then we're just gonna deepen up this crease. I think interpretation, you can never do something exactly like somebody unless literally it's like this tutorial, you can see what products they're using and you try and use the same shades and the same product. I think it would probably be quite easy to then recreate, recreate some of those. But I'm literally just taking, I don't know what he used. I am just remembering what his makeup looked like and I'm taking my own inspo from that and I'm putting my own spin on his look and I did really, really like it. It was popping. For someone who's just going to work and obviously his job is to sell makeup I know that they've got to put like full beats on every single day so I can kind of understand why his look was like that but it was magnificent I can't even tell you how good it was I wish I had his Instagram handle so that I could tag him um, once I finished this because I was actually in awe of him and his skills that he has so once you're just happy um with that i'm just going to blend those two together let's make sure when that gut no hash aligns i'm just going to put some concealer on my lid just to help the blue to just come through really nicely on my skin and we're just gonna pop that on and then we're gonna blend it out. So once that is all blended out on my lid, I'm gonna go in with this ultra violet blue right here. So excited to use this shade because I haven't used it. I am going to coat my brush with some All Nighter Setting Spray, just so we get a nice good lock and helps the shade to really pop how we want. Right. Just gonna get in closer and we are going to press 
blue. Oh, it is lush. And this is my kind of shade. This is so my kind of shade. Like blue is one of my favorite colors, especially like royal blue. And it's really weird because my school uniform at school was a royal blue as well. And what I'm doing is I literally am just patting it on to the lid. I am not doing any sweeping motions or anything like that. I really just want to pack the color on as much as possible, trying to get as close to the lash line as I possibly can to really make sure it all blends in nicely and we're taking it out and down the side. That is actually really, really nice. So once I'm done patting it, I like to just do like a slow, like down motion and I'm using this on a flat, eyeshadow brush and we're really just trying to pack the color on because we're really trying to get it to be really intense and that with eyeshadow you can put it on and as much vibrancy as you so wish i'm going to quickly complete the other right and then we'll be back eyes are completed really really not lovely how it has come out so we're just going to go back in and we're going to do some blending and we're going to make it all come together so i'm just taking that first shade and i'm really just going to sweep that across and blend it out so it just doesn't look as harsh and as rounded I'm going to do that on both sides because it kind of looks like a half moon crescent at the moment. And then we're going to go back in with that brick shade. You could also go in with a black shade and just do a smoke out the sides. But um, from what I can remember, I don't think I did see any um, black. So I'm just going to go with my neutral shade. And I'm just going to do that on my outer V. And I'm just kind of like, I find dabbing works really well on the outer V. Just to diffuse that end. Out and just tidy it up. So let's have a look. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So I'm just going to just take some more concealer. I'm going to take it on a concealer brush. I'm just going to take some. And I'm just going to take it from the sides. And I'm just going to clean this up here. kind of my little cheat sheet if you don't want it if you don't bake or you just want to clean it up and I know I've already put powder on I've already put powder on I know I know just gonna take the tip edge of my real technique sponge and just blend it into the rest of my skin To complete the rest of the look, I'm going in with this eyeliner pencil and it's like a turquoise blue. We're just going to pop that in my waterline because I just want this to be a lovely, bold look. And I think this eyeliner pencil was just from the hair shop. It was just like a pound. So very affordable. What I like to do, if I'm going to use a colour on my lips, I'm going to go in with the two shades, my two crease colours, and I'm just going to go and I'm just going to 
tape that underneath the eyeliner. And guess what I'm going to try again today? We're going to try some liquid eyeliner, but I'm literally just going to place it on um, my lash line. Because last time I did a makeup look, I managed to ruin the whole thing with eyeliner. So I'm trying to not do that today. Imagine you've done all your makeup and you decide, oh, I'm going to be adventurous today. I'm going to put some eyeliner on. And I don't know, just goes, nope, not your friend at all. Actually, didn't come out as bad as I thought it was going to. Let's see if her sister wants to play along. I'm actually really glad that I put on the wing eyeliner. It actually looks really nice with this look. So we're going to put some inner corner highlight on. I don't know why, but I'm feeling this teal shimmer colour as my inner highlight to kind of go with the eyeliner that we've got on. So I'm going to do Oh yeah, that was a very good choice. Oh, I might have to do a look with this. This is a very like mermaid-esque. What do you think? It's coming together nicely. So let's put on some mascara. And you guys all know that my favourite mascara is this Rimmel Scandalous Wing Mascara. So, I'm going to pop this on. And time for ye old favourite lashes. Hold tight, I'll be back. Whilst we're waiting for the lash glue to dry, I am just going to put on some black. Warm up my little cheeks with some colour. And because this look is very extra, I have gone with my loose highlighter in Boomin from Colourpop X Makeup Sheila. And we're just going to pop that on. Work that nicely into the skin. Loose highlighters used to scare me because they were just so, wow, like, so wow. But once you've learned to kind of like work it, work it into your skin, it does look really nice. But the key, my key, is to go lightly and build if necessary. And that should be your motto with anything to do with makeup. Don't just go in and hope for the best. No, work it, learn how to love it, learn how to work with it, learn how your skin likes it, find the right shades that you want. But I'm really going hella hella extra foundation is still holding up i am not sweating even though i'm currently boiling and my upper lip highlight as always because my eyebrows are finally snatched we're gonna Pop some in my eyebrow bone. Could use a smaller brush, but I'm all a little, I'm all about use as little products as necessary required. So now I'll be back because the eyelashes are going on. Right, the lashes are on. So let's set that bad boy. Ooh, 
love that after putting a good face on i'm loving how this turned out so let's just turn it up a notch and he was wearing this extra over the top lip gloss red lip glitter everything so i've gone with these two combos this is the smith and colt the warning lip gloss and then it's also the metal kiss um w7 lip gloss in aurora which i have used before this one i don't think suits me very well but the look was so extra and so over the top i thought hey let's give that another whirl it's so vibrant so vampy i thought it would work lovely it's not as over the top as actually I was expecting. Oh, I'm going to take the Metal Kiss lip gloss because actually that's quite sheer and I probably could have done it the other way around because this colour actually has more of a colour in it. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I definitely think that I didn't need to use that other lip gloss. This one is nice. And I could have used the red over the top. If you really want to snatch the lip, you can use some concealer to define the rest of the lip. It's all complete. This is over the top. This is extra. I I don't even know where I would even wear this, but we're doing it for YouTube and we're doing it for that everyday girl who can get the look that anyone can do. So let me finish off this look. Let's do some hair because I got my braids in and um, I'm going to come back. Guys, this is the final look. I am in awe of it. My Skin just looks perfection. The eye makeup is popping. The lip is way out there. And I love everything about it. I love the, how my braid sits nicely with this. I really, really hope that you guys have enjoyed my recreation look of the makeup artist to help me do some makeup and um, purchase some makeup. So if you like my videos, do not forget before you leave we're gonna like we're gonna subscribe and you're gonna come and join me on all my other social media platforms because hey why not um i will see you guys all again next week love you bye